Gravel racing is all the rage right now, and the biggest race of them all is the Unbound 200 in Kansas. After 206 filthy and furiously raced miles, Ivar Slick and Sofia Gomez Villafane became the 2022 men's and women's champions over a field of over 1,000 riders. What we love most about gravel racing is the variety of bikes raced, from custom-made bling machines to modified off-the-peg rigs. In this video, we've rounded up an eclectic selection ridden in this year's race. But before we get stuck into our list, make sure you subscribe to our channel with the notifications switched on so you never miss one of our videos. We'll start the video with the man who set the fastest time across the flint roads of Kansas, Ivar Slick. The first European to claim victory at the race outsprinted the rest of the four-man breakaway atop a Villiers Rave SLR. The Rave SLR is the brand's all-out gravel racer with near road bike geometry and an impressively low weight. The bike saw profile design aero bars integrated into a one-piece Villiers Volante cockpit. This cockpit features 440mm wide bars and a 140mm long equivalent stem. The increasing proliferation of time trial bars is an example of road and triathlon tech being adopted by long distance racers and bike packers for both aerodynamic and comfort purposes. At a staggering average pace of 21.37 miles per hour or 34.4 kilometers per hour, slick must have clearly felt those aero gains as he dragged himself around the open expanses of the unbound course. We tested a Campagnolo Eckhart equipped version of the bike, but Slick requested a mix of road and gravel drivetrain components in a 2x setup for his bike. This gave him larger gears to push hard on the flats. The brakes, rotors and shifters are all from Shimano GRX Di2, the brand's electronic gravel group set. A set of freshly released carbon Miche Graf root wheels shod with Schwalbe G1 R tyres set up tubeless completed the build. The fast rolling Schwalbe tyres are a gravel racer's favourite, but must have felt fairly slick on the sloppy surfaces seen on the day. 2021 winner Ian Boswell didn't retain his unbound title, but the podium finisher did once again ride a retro-themed custom specialised diverge. If you missed last year's retro bike, make sure you check out the video in the video description below. This year's bike riffs on the pink kitten bikes of the brand's Team Stump Jumper mountain bikes from 1984. Boswell paired SRAM Red ETAP Axis shifters with a 52 tooth X Sync chainring and a colossal 12 speed SRAM Eagle 10 to 50 tooth cassette. This combination with the iridescent sprockets and SRAM's 12 speed Eagle chain add bling to an already striking build. Boswell swapped from the coefficient RR handlebars he won on last year to a more conventional looking set from Roval without adding TT extensions. Roval Terra CLX wheels roll on 42mm wide specialised Pathfinder Pro tubeless tyres. Boswell then secured a tubeless repair kit to the underside of his specialised power with mirror saddle. What do you think of this saucy hot pink number? Let us know in the comments. Former World Tour Pro Nathan Haas rode Colnago's gravel-specific C3X in the 16th edition of Unbound. Haas's gravel bike was equipped with a 1x13-speed Campagnolo Eckhart group set and the matching Levante gravel wheels, which were wrapped in a pair of Vittorio Terreno dry tyres. So far, fairly standard, but where this bike's shine is in the paint job. The 33-year-old's bike is the second in a series of five custom designs that will be ridden by the Australian throughout the season. It features an Art Decor-inspired design that will be familiar to Colnago fans, having featured on iconic bikes such as the Colnago Master. The design features an image of a cyclist on the top tube and takes inspiration from the colours of the Kansas flag. It also includes the motto of Kansas in Latin, which translates to through the roughness to the stars. We think that the chrome finish on the fork is also rather handsome too. 
Keep an eye out online for the rest of the custom designs Hass will ride during his 2022 gravel campaign, which will include the BWR North in Carolina and the Rift in Iceland. Our very own Felix rode the Rift a few years back, and you can watch how we got on through the link in the video description. Whitney Allison placed fourth overall in the Women's Unbound 200 and 66th overall aboard this Ibis Hakka MX, an all-road bike specced with a mechanical Shimano GRX drivetrain, NV wheels and WTB tyres. The hoops are NV SES 3.4s, which are fitted with 42mm WTB Resolute tyres with SG2 puncture protection. A Wahoo Element bolt is mounted on NV SES AR carbon handlebars. Although the Ibis Hakka MX frame set is compatible with electronic drivetrains, Allison favoured mechanical GRX shifters for the race. An Altegra crank set turns Shimano 105 50 34 tooth chainrings, and Allison used a stages power meter to manage her efforts throughout the race. Shimano 105 and mechanical parts. Maybe pro cyclists aren't that different to us mere mortals after all. Dubbed the fastest gravel bike in the world, could these Apodura custom bags aboard this Ridley Canzo Fast be the biggest upset in pro gravel racing? Now these bags are actually claimed to make the bike faster, and as you can see, there's a saddle, top tube and frame bag neatly integrated into the bike. Testing by Apodura has shown that the bags can save up to 16 watts in certain conditions. That's the equivalent to using an expensive set of aero wheels. A 3D printed module is used to attach the frame pack to the Kanzo. It's designed to smooth the angles around the bag and keep the pack in the shadow of the bike's frame set. The Ridley Kanzo Fast is the Belgian brand's go fast aero gravel bike and takes air slicing cues from its NOAA aero bike. As is becoming common in the gravel racing world, there's an integrated bar and stem plus an aero seat post. Unlike a lot of riders in this list, Noel Van Loon has opted for a full GRX group set rather than combining road and gravel bike components. Our final bike is that of the women's 200 champion, Sofia Gomez Villafane, who rode to victory on a specialised crux. Better known as an elite mountain biker, Villafane was determined to show mountain bikers can ride fast, and she certainly achieved that. Looking closely, it appears Villafane went for a Shimano XDR mountain bike cassette, presumably looking for a larger gear range. The drivetrain mix and match didn't stop there, with a new Dura-Ace crank set combined with GRX Di2 shifters and brakes. Would you ride a setup like this? Do you think GRX needs a greater gear range? Let us know in the comments. Specialised Pathfinder tyres in a 700 by 42 mm size were the Argentinian's rubber of choice. If you want to know what we think about the Specialised Crux, then there's a link to the video in the description. So those are some of the bikes that caught our attention at Unbound 2022. Which was your favourite? And let us know if you'd like us to cover more gravel races in the future by leaving a comment below. If you still need to scratch that gravel itch, then watch our Gravel Diaries series. Again, there's a link in the video description.